Waypoint Pro is a powerful tool for computer flight control of Inspire 3, but power and complexity go together. Waypoint Pro is no exception. In this video, you're going to college. Because I'm going into fine detail, this tutorial has been divided into two parts. Part 1 deals with creating waypoints and waypoint flight routes by flying the route, and Part 2 deals with the same thing in map mode. Now, by way of introduction, I'm a mechanical engineer, an FAA airframe mechanic, and have been an aviator for more than 50 years flying land planes, sea planes, sail planes, commercial helicopters, and flight on instruments. For UAS, I'm a Part 107 pilot. Now, control and reproducibility have a lot of advantages. You can fly with different lighting, change lenses, show change over time, or identically repeat a shot many times. Here is a three-clip composite. Clip one is at 24 millimeters, the action transitions to clip two and three at 35 millimeters, and then returns to clip one. Although there's no position editing, the two 35 millimeter clips show that mixing clips can be done with almost no discernible jump. Waypoint flight routes are the basis for Waypoint Pro, and creating waypoints is the essence of the Waypoint flight routes. I will be using WFR as an acronym for Waypoint Flight Route. Now let's create a WFR in flight mode. Begin by taking off and hovering. In camera view, tap the Waypoint Pro icon to open the WFR library. Tap Create. Move Inspire 3 to the first waypoint position and adjust Gimbal, Yaw, and Pitch. Now press C1 to set Waypoint 1. Latitude, Longitude, Altitude, Gimbal Yaw, and Pitch are recorded for each waypoint. Focus is not recorded. The pilot or second controller operator will need to focus. Next, move Inspire 3 to the second waypoint position, adjust the gimbal, and then press C1 creating waypoint 2. Position for waypoint 3, adjust and press C1 again. C2 can be used to delete the waypoint just created. The Waypoint Flight Route dialog box just created will display the number of waypoints and the distance flown. Tap Save and the WFR is added to the library. There's a powerful second option to automatically record waypoints in flight. Begin on the home page. Tap Flight Route, tap Create Route, and tap Live Mission Recording. A dialog box will open to allow you to set the recording interval from 1 to 10 seconds between waypoints. To start, tap Add a Waypoint and fly the route. When complete, tap Save. Now that we have a WFR, you may want to edit or change default values. For emphasis, WFR editing applies to the whole flight route. To edit, tap the chosen WFR in the library, then tap the pencil icon you'll see the word route at the top of the screen. To the left, there are three icons. The topmost is illuminated as it launches the route editor. The middle icon allows editing of individual waypoints. The last icon allows editing the flight route name, reference altitude mode, and map display choices. The first WFR edit option is FPV follows route direction. If engaged, Inspire 3 turns so that the FPV camera follows the route path. You can then choose modes Repeatable Flight Route or 3D Dolly. 3D Dolly is a powerful mode allowing a great deal of creativity and control. There are two options, Manual and Auto. In Auto, the Inspire 3 will fly as defined in the WFR, accepting that the pilot is in sole control of speed. This means fast, slow stop, or backing up along the flight path. In Manual mode, the Inspire 3 orientation, gimbal yaw, pitch, and speed are all controllable by the pilot. The next option, Speed, allows setting the WFR speed. The default is 6.7 miles per hour. Speed can also be changed for each waypoint. Then there are two relative altitude possibilities. The flight altitude can be relative to the home point or relative to sea level. There are two choices for route type. If curved route aircraft continues is selected, Inspire 3 will follow the route following a curved path. 
you can control the radii through waypoint spacing. If turns before waypoint flies through is selected, Inspire 3 will fly straight line waypoint to waypoint. Now there are four choices for upon completion of the WFR. Exit task will cause Inspire 3 to stay at the last waypoint until commanded by the pilot. The option return to home will cause Inspire 3 to return to the home point. Land will cause Inspire 3 to auto land below the last waypoint. Return to start point and hover is obvious. You'll go back to waypoint 1 and hover until commanded by the pilot. Now that WFR parameters are edited, it's time to address the options for each waypoint. The speed for the waypoint can be set. The speed value applies for this waypoint N to waypoint N plus 1. If you tap the follow route speed option, the WFR speed will be used nullifying this manual input. The relative altitude is the altitude Inspire 3 will fly for waypoint N to N plus 1. If you tap the follow route option, the WFR altitude will be used again, nullifying this manual input. Gimbal yaw allows you to pan the camera. When you set each waypoint, the gimbal yaw and pitch were recorded and the values will show here. To change the value, you can use the slider or manually enter a value in the box. The yaw values are plus 180 to minus 180 and are relative to compass direction. Gimbal pitch is a companion parameter to the gimbal yaw. It has identical characteristics to yaw except the value range is 100 degrees up to 140 degrees down. You can add actions at each waypoint. Select the actions in the order to be performed. For example, if you tap hover and then start recording, your recording will not capture the images during the hover. Take a photo. We'll take one photograph at the current camera settings for photos. Remember that the settings for video and photo recording are separate. Start recording. We'll start video recording at the current video camera settings. Stop recording will stop video recording. When the gimbal pitch value changes from one waypoint to the next, the gimbal will change pitch over the duration of the current waypoint. As an alternative, if gimbal pitch rotation is chosen, the pitch change occurs promptly at the start of the waypoint. You can set a hover with a duration from 1 to 30 seconds. Aircraft rotation normally occurs over the duration of the waypoint. Aircraft rotate option is similar in its effect to gimbal pitch rotation in that when aircraft rotate is employed, the effect is promptly at the start of the waypoint. You can change the longitude and latitude values by manual entry in the boxes. You can also tap on the arrows of the circle to the right of the boxes to move waypoints in the direction of the arrow. Check your changes in the map view. The route is flown, the waypoints are set, the WFR parameters are set, and waypoints are edited. The result is saved. Then to execute the WFR, tap the WFR icon in the library, tap Execute, tap Upload Flight Mission, and then tap Start. This can be done with motors off, or you can take off and start a route in the air. The repeatable route WFR is flown autonomously. The pilot only deals with focus. Obstacle avoidance can result in braking. This is least likely with the option turns before waypoint flies through. But if you select curved route aircraft continues, Inspire 3 will follow a curved path that may decrease the distance to obstacles that you had when setting waypoints and braking may occur. You may need to reduce the braking distance to a minimum, or you may have to turn off horizontal, upward, or downward protection. My advice, retain as much obstacle avoidance protection as you can. This is the end of part one. When your enthusiasm moves you, check out part two. Be safe, productive, and happy.